Business is full of ups and downs, so it helps to have a flexible way to pay. Try Business Essentials from O2 Business, the most flexible business tariff around. Hey guys, welcome to BTICT. I'm Basil and this is my final entry in my Surface Book vlog series and this one is all about sketching. So in true us style, I'm doing a speed sketch, had an hour to squeeze in a quick one for you. Um, this is all about basically Sketchbook Pro. Um, I used Photoshop as well, though not in this video and I, like I've said over and over, do prefer Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. I'm also going to tell you how the pen feels and interacting with it in general. Okay, for starters, um, what's awesome about Sketchbook Pro is that it's really really instantaneous even on the surface book when you have huge files with loads of layers there's a degree of latency there um, when you are drawing Sketchbook Pro is spot-on instantaneous wonderful as for the pen the new pen it's got one flat side um, and that's where the magnet adheres to the device and that's actually really really comfortable because that flat side rests really really well on your knuckle the pen has interchangeable nibs which is good because from my experience with the Surface 3 the nibs can wear. That said the display on the Surface Book is incredibly smooth. At times when I had to press hard I did see a little bit of kind of the color shifting um, because of too much pressure being applied to the screen so uh, that didn't fill me with the hugest amount of confidence but it's significantly better than on the Surface 3 um, and it isn't actually that concerning because I was pressing quite hard. I'd probably advise you should just increase the size of your nib. It does feel like you're gliding across the screen though, it is quite nice and smooth. The back of the surface pen is an eraser, so you can just back and front between the two. Um, Autodesk supports it, Autodesk also supports palm rejection. I just did a uh, quick sketching video with the um, Huawei a mate book and that didn't support palm rejection just yet it might on final release but um, this does and it makes a really really big difference so um, the drawing experience is actually better in a lot of ways than the mate book because you've got a very very fine nib and you can see exactly what you're drawing but in the same breath it's actually worse because I don't feel as confident applying a lot of pressure it's almost like the screen has a little bit more give than um, what I recall on the show floor the Matebook did. The screen looks great. The 3000 by 2000 aspect ratio gives you plenty of pixels to play with as well. Um, it's worth noting that the logistics of actually sketching on the Surface Book on paper are better than in real life in a couple of ways. Um, if you, for example, have the Surface Book tablet portion reversed, you do you, you can't actually prop the tablet up at a comfortable angle to draw. I had to close the laptop type form and have something behind so that it was at a 40 Five degree angle so it was easy for sketching for me so the surface 4 for example surface pro 4 and the surface 3 standalone are actually easier to sketch on based on the angle that they can give you with that screen um, I've done a speed sketching video with the surface 3 and even that can handle Autodesk in spite of the 4 gig of RAM on board which is a version I used so um, yeah if you are like don't have as much money as the surface book costs then you could happily opt for a Surface 3. Um, love, love, love that tablet. It's probably the best thing for the price for sketching on. As far as far more intensive tasks, check out the full review. It'll be posted in the middle of this week. But hopefully this gave you an insight as to how you can draw on the Surface Book. If you've got any questions about it, file them in the comments section below and subscribe to the channel. That's how you're going to stay on top of everything, including the upcoming Surface Book review. Thanks for watching BTECT.